Hi, I'm Rob Johnstone, and today I'm going to be making this really cool flag plaque with a little help from my friends. As a Navy veteran, I've been interested in seeing these flag plaques on the internet. I thought they looked cool, but most of them were really big. You know, like flag-sized. So when a man of tools suggested that we make a flag plaque to demonstrate their router bits, I suggested a smaller gift-sized version, and they said yes. To get the job started, I asked my friend Ralph Bagnall to do the programming for the flags. And I asked my shop buddy, Nick Brady, to do the CNC work. Hey, Nick. Hey, Rob. Nice shirt. Here, too. So, Nick. Fill us in on how you machine these flags. Sure. Well, the programming is designed to use these three bits from Amana, and it's real simple. Each step of the program will tell you which bit to use. Maybe I'll just show you how to do it. That sounds best. First, I mounted the ball nose bit into the spindle. Then I clamped the blank in place and set the X, Y, and Z coordinates. The programs all start at the center of the blank. Now, it's go time. The first program removed a lot of material and it takes a good bit of time. But the Manitool Spectra 2 flute ball nose upcut bit did a great job cleanly removing all of that material and left virtually no tool marks behind. Next up, we're going to use the Amana ball tip tapered bit. This is going to finish all of our pockets and carve the stars on our flag. And here are a couple of details for you to be aware of. First off, while I'm using a larger home shop CNC machine, this project is small enough to fit on a smaller CNC. I found the Amana Tool Spectra upcut carving bit left a smooth and precise detail, especially on these tiny stars. The painted flag is made from basswood. It's white, machines easily, and takes paint well. Here we are using cherry. I put a clear finish on the cherry flag I made earlier, and I think it looks great. So this is pretty cool. We're, you're almost done. Yeah. How do you finish it off? One step left. We're going to use this quarter inch down cut spiral bit from Amana, and it's going to cut almost all the way through our blank, just leaving a slight onion skin. <laughs> now, we'll take over to the router table, trim it perfectly smooth, and it's going to be great. These are cool projects. I'm definitely going to make one. I'm Rob Johnstone from Woodworkers Journal. I'm Nick Brady from Rockler. Thanks, Thanks for, for watching. watching.